15 ain't easy, unless you're watching me. Welcome! You're watching the Swift Storm and Dad of a Bring Hollywood Home on a Budget. Have you ever gotten the feeling that there are voices in your head? Not necessarily those that you immediately recognize and have to deal with every day, but I'm talking about those voices that you kind of recognize but can never put a face to. If you're having trouble with that, that's what we're here for, as this week we'll be putting some faces to those voices in an attempt to prove that those voices can be your friends, or at least your frenemies. So don't be surprised if you hear signature WWE Superstar entrance theme kicking this week off. And further, don't be surprised that we're starting this week off, as so many others do, and many ones afterward, in the kitchen. A very active battleground for an ongoing war. The eternal combat of virtue versus vice. The classic angel-devil situation going on on your shoulders. On one side, you got one guy telling you, if you want to live a better life, load up on the fruits and veggies, lean meats, skip the carbs, and eat well. And you got the other guy on your other shoulder telling you, Come on, don't be asking where's the beef, load it up, pile on the carbs, live a little. Quite the contrary if you want to live a lot. They both make convincing arguments, but only you can be the judge and jury. However, for those who tell you that you can listen to only one or the other, you can't have both. Here to voice her opinion to the delicious contrary is Jessica Seinfeld, of course Jerry's muse, and New York Times best-selling cookbook author who's no stranger to TSR. As I've already bought and reviewed all five of her cookbooks that she published thus far. Her next one is a dessert cookbook coming out in November, Healthy Desserts. We've done Deceptively Delicious, which is the debut cookbook, and The Cat Cookbook. For those who think you can't cook, they'll be linked downstairs if you want to see the reviews. But for right now, it's all about food swings, with over 125 recipes to enjoy your life of virtue and vice. So yes, you can have it all. This Ballantine Books publication was picked up from Red Vine and Blue Thrift Store for $5.99. And as the subtitle would say, the over 125 recipes in this cookbook are divided into two categories. Virtue and Vice. They're further broken down into three categories. Breakfast, meal time, and dessert. We'll be highlighting one recipe per each chapter, so to speak, for six recipes in all. Four of them coming with companion videos from Jessica's YouTube channel. They will all be linked downstairs as well. But for right now, as said the science kid would say, it's breakfast time! Three virtuous recipes and three recipes that load up on the vice. So a good, clean, even fight is going on here. We begin with a virtuous breakfast. A fluffy goat cheese and arugula omelette, which serves one. That's right, breakfast for one, with an active cook time of 10 minutes. That's how long it takes for you to whip this up. Fluffy goat cheese and arugula omelette. For a virtuous lunch, we have here ginger salmon with sesame cucumbers. Virtuous lunch or dinner. Depends on how hungry you are during the day. In any event, that will serve an average family of four and take you 35 minutes in all to make with an active cook time of 20 minutes. You will be boiling this salmon, for boiling is Jessica's favorite way to cook salmon. The top gets a little charred, while the inside cooks gently, so you can't overcook it. Well, you can, but you won't if you read the simple instructions below. And the instructions, just like the ingredient lists, are indeed simple. Which always gets a plus from me. And for a virtuous dessert, we have here peanut butter and banana vice cream. Yep, peanut butter and banana Vice cream. What is vice cream if it belongs in the virtuous section? Well, it's vegan ice cream. Yes, vegan ice cream. So, this will be a good time to tell you that in the virtuous section, there are a good many gluten-free, 
vegetarian, vegan, and almost vegan recipes in here. Something for everyone's taste buds and everyone's um, dietary needs. But now it's time to get vicey. Oh yeah, we have here fluffy buttermilk pancakes with roasted berry syrup. You know, she outlines this at the beginning of her book. Whether you want pancakes and maple syrup or chia seeds and a banana. When it comes down to this photo right here, what would you choose? That'll serve 24 pancakes and take you about half an hour to whip up. Next recipe is pasta al forno with bacon breadcrumbs. It doesn't get any more vicey than bacon breadcrumbs. You read that right. 20 minutes to cook, 40 minutes at all to bake, and that'll serve, wow, a good sized family of six. And it's topped with fresh tomatoes, so this would definitely peak if you use the best summer tomatoes around. And folks, we're in that season now. They're not that hard to find. And finally, a chocolate fudge cake. By Jessica's account, and maybe by many accounts, the perfect chocolate cake. That'll serve 10. And I'll tell you, in the companion video to this, where Jessica took that first bite, there was a huge cheer that lifted from the uh, crew shooting that video, who afterwards all dived into the cake. That and the three other videos for the salmon and for the um, peanut butter banana vice cream, they're all being linked downstairs. This would be a good time to tell you now that I actually first spotted this cookbook across the street from headquarters on a bookshelf of a guy who was, I believe, a private store owner. And he had this bookshelf filled with some really good books. I mean, this bookshelf was actually on the other side of the door. It was a locked door, and it was clearly visible. And this and the Food Network Kitchen's grilling cookbook were on the shelf. I begged the guy for me to at least buy one of them, or both of them, or even trade a couple of cookbooks in this library for a couple from his. And he said, no sale and no trade. Those cookbooks would never leave his shelf. I was bummed, yet I couldn't blame the guy. So ever since I saw this cookbook across the street on that bookshelf, oh, it's been on my high priority list and I'm so glad I got it. From best-selling cookbook author Jessica Seinfeld comes an all-new collection of more than 125 delectable recipes, perfect for the reality of the actual human experience. Sometimes healthy, sometimes indulgent. Delicious either way. This retails in the States for 32 bucks and in Canada for 42 bucks, 10 bucks more. The photography is as bountiful as it is delicious and high quality. Another plus from me. Food strings. All in all receives the full on 5 out of 5 because we got an even Stevens worth of recipes here for virtue and vice fans alike. I may not know much, but I do know this. Jerry lucked out far greater than even he himself could ever imagine. And if this cookbook provides us with just a little iota of that luck, only when it comes to cooking, then I think we'll all be better off. The battle between virtue and vice rages on. But you know what? We'll let them duke it out while we cook and eat the remnants of that battle. Especially when they come this cheap and this delectable. Around these parts, that's the deal. Thanks for tuning in. Just so you know, there's no limit to Brady Hollywood Home on a budget. Please go ahead and check out another awesome review like this one by clicking here. And make sure you subscribe by clicking here. Until next time, I'll catch you, as I always do, on the flip side.